Okay, uh, I'm back at my boat and I'm pleasantly surprised I can tell you why I'm climbing this ladder. Um, there's no water on the roof. I, mean, I suspected more, but well, I'll pearl and see how much water is inside. We had some pretty nasty rainfall, and as you can see, it is very, very cold. Um, so I see what I can do today. The boat is drying now, and uh, ooh, my hands are shaking, it's a bit cold. Um, and I want to tell you what I want to do today. It is um, pretty much the uh, something on the side. I have bought those aluminum profiles, and I like to build a jig for today, just a simple one for straight uh, rip cuts because um, especially for smaller things I think it might help me a great bit and I can try to use all those bits and pieces that I can't really use for the boat construction to do something useful out of them. Let's see how far I can go. Sounds awesome. No, it, uh, it's a bit crude, I uh, definitely say this, but already it worked pretty well. This cut here was made by it and this one here too, and as you can see it is extremely precise and um, it works very nice. I like it so much that I will use it to construct the front part of the frame that is missing and uh, I have enough daylight left to do so. Oh, you know what I just see? This is very much off. Uh, I have to remedy this somehow. I, 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 I don't know. Ugh. This is 
so precise, it's really scary. So I'll put some uh, appropriate uh, pilot holes into the knees and yeah, they yeah. are. I totally forgot to film this, but um, I uh, essentially, uh, what I did is to take this old traverse girder as a template and um, essentially described three sections which I want to uh, essentially put together very, uh, uh, they're just rough cutouts, put them together and then plane or ha sand them down to their final shape and see how good I can do this. I'm, I don't know, I don't know.
the um, oh they're almost almost dry they are pretty much dry well that was faster than I thought oh maybe because it is a bit bit more cross cut to you therefore oh, I, don't, I don't know anyways um this one is very stable like it very much can almost shake the boat see and it makes funny noises. So um, what I want to do is essentially uh, assemble this traverse girder that I uh, kind of cobbled together. I'm not happy with this. I definitely did something wrong with the jigsaw here, but um, yeah, I put it somewhere where, <laughs> where it won't be seen. But I think it will be more stable and it will look nicer than before. So uh, I will assemble this now after my coffee break. That's the view from the cockpit. I'm sitting on the cockpit and the slide way, way, way to um, the transom section. Now I'm almost sitting where I would sit when I steer the boat. And as you can see, the traverse girder looks very, very nice. Um, I like it much better. It has some beef to it. It's obviously, I can trim the edges a little bit later. I will call it a day now because they're teeny tiny water droplets in the air and I fear that it will begin to rain shortly I don't want this to happen I mean I, I, it will rain but I don't want to get my tools uh, too too wet and uh, so I will uh, wrap the pearl up and uh, put all my stuff in the barn it, including this awesome jig where is it where's the awesome jig uh, somewhere over there uh, the jig is so good that I actually am able to do to build knees much better than before. So next time I will continue building those uh, traverse girders. There, it's reasonably fast to build them. I have obviously have to hone my skills in planing those curvatures, but surprisingly enough, the small block plane I have, uh, the small one down there somewhere, is pretty good in uh, planning the the inside and the outside of those curves i don't i'm a bit impressed but yeah, the curvature is not that extreme so i guess it's perfectly all right so this will be all for today until next time